Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slane Hope, and I got another video for y'all. This one is a book review, and this book is How to Lie with Statistics um, by Daryl Huff. So what made me read this book? The reason that I picked up this book was, at first it was given to me as a gift when I was taking statistics in college, and then later on, um, I feel like that person took their book back. They did like some weird stuff. Um, but anyway, I was interested in getting the book because, you know, I was taking stats, one. And two, we live in this fact-based culture today, right, where everybody just like throwing around statistics, right? Um, which is why, one of the reasons why I tend to do it now because I feel like a lot of people be bombarding me with stats. So I tend to like look into them, um, who, who came up with the stats, etc right because it's like we're living in this fact-based culture right where like people just hear oh stats say this they won't even tell you who was it conducted by um they won't even tell you um what was the number whatever but i'm gonna get into all of that so basically because everybody's always talking about statistics um it kind of like made me want to get into it to kind of like understand like what the book was about and how do they really lie with the stats right that's why i was interested in it um, what the book is about, the book is basically, is uh, it's 10 chapters long, um, it's 144 pages, and the book is basically about just how sometimes people lie on purpose with the stats, right? It's like the title of the book. So some people lie, right? Especially like people that be doing marketing, um, they might want you to buy a product. So they might tell you, oh, if you use this pen, um, your letters will come out clearer, like, you know, whatever, whatever the stat is, right? Or if you use this water jug, this water jug is proven to hold more water and not leak um, 85%, like, you know, whatever, whatever the stat is. So even like hand sanitizer, right? It says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. That's a, that's like a, you know, that's based on something, right? How did you come up to that conclusion that this does this? So you got to do stats, right? Um, And then you also have to compare it to other things. So anyway, the book is basically about that, right? Like how sometimes some people are lying on purpose and how sometimes there's not enough information and sometimes like the the stats might be inaccurate um what i got from the book what i got from the book is basically the same thing right it shows you how like different companies different people um even the medical field um what, what whatever the agenda is behind whatever um the topic might be that you have to be mindful and you have to know how stats work in order to really like kind of like understand them and the book basically what i got from it is also how like sometimes you have to pay attention to who says so right so when you read a stat it's not just about reading the stat it's also about who conducted the stat right um and kind of like trying to figure out like what was the reason behind the question um what what was the purpose of you know trying to figure out um this particular number for this particular situation i think it's important to find out who says so a lot of stats is usually done by universities um most of the time it's usually universities sometimes it's like marketing companies sometimes it might be like hospitals they send out surveys um or whatever other corporations so the next thing is um how does he know and the how does he know is is usually like he is just a reference right so it's usually to find out how did that person come up with the conclusion that they arrived at or the numbers so this is where, where it gets tricky right you got to really find out this is what i got from it so you got to really find out, like, is it bias, right? Like, where did they get the sample? Is it random? Did they only go to a specific group of people to interview them? Did they only do it at a at a specific building or um, a specific hospital or, like, or the welfare office or the post office? It's, it's important to know how did these people come up with this information. And, like, the best stats usually come from, like, um, random random samples like you know just just but it, it has to be very controlled like you know you got to document like the age you got to document like the race you got to document like um gender like you know where did you go ask people like so it's, it's very important to try to like get all of those things so that it could really be an actual random sample and not bias um another thing is what's missing a lot of times when we read stats some stats might not give you how many people they interviewed or how many people they spoke to or how many people um, that they handed this survey to. And even sometimes when you do hand out a survey to somebody or you send it through the mail, um, some of these organizations and these colleges come up with stats. But sometimes what you realize is 
not everybody responds to those things. For example, when the census does things, right? When the census bureau, um, sometimes when they conduct stats, a lot of times people don't respond to those surveys. So let's just say they sent out 1,500 surveys and maybe only 14% of the people responded. They will, they will use that small number and then they might come up with a stat. Like they might say, oh, well, 80% of the people, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. But in reality, all those people didn't even respond to it. So how big, you know, you, when you have a, a, a sample, right, it has to be big enough. A lot of times they, they might even tell you a thousand or more. Um, so it could be like an adequate sample because when you have a small sample, it's easy to kind of like get a biased response. So that's kind of like what I got from it. Like you got to pay attention to what's missing. You got to pay attention to like um, all the information. They make sure you get all the information when they tell you this is the stats that we got. Um, and you try to like, you know, try to find out like who do they talk to, etc. All the things that I just mentioned and how I plan to implement this thing is just to keep doing what I've been doing. Um, kind of like share it with people. I like I tell people all the time, like just because you read one stat, like you ha there's other stats out there that might even counter argue the stat that you just mentioned. So it's important to kind of like just cover all tracks, just kind of like look into look into it deeply, right? And look into it with a critical eye when you hear stats, right? Like when you hear oh stats say this, it's important to like kind of like figure out, like I said, who says so, who conducted the study, um, how do they know, how did they come about the number, um, and what's missing. And you know, just trying to get to the bottom of it. So that's just some of the things that how I plan, how I plan to implement it, um, and just tell people to just be careful when they are just running with information and statistics. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, and leave your comments down below. Peace.